Welcome to the 2021 Clifford Chance Pride Exhibition. My name is Michael Petrie, I'm the curator, and I'm going to be telling you about the show. The show is called El Amor en los Tiempos de Cholera, Love in the Time of Cholera, based on the novel by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, which looks at love, sex, illness and death, something that we've all experienced in some way or another in the last 18 months. For the exhibition, I invited 29 LGBTQ plus artists to provide me with one image, which we then printed at A1 size so that all of them are a standard size, but each individual work could have been a painting, a photograph, a still from a video. So I asked all of the artists to give me a piece of art that they made under the lockdown situations of COVID. Now the exhibition is not about COVID, nor is it really about cholera, but it is about the fact that all of us have had a very difficult time where we've had to change our working methods. And this is really a diary, a kind of queer diary of the work by all of those artists, which represents a very broad spectrum of our community. Because we have so many artists making work in very different media, I wanted to organize the exhibition in a way that could make sense to the viewer. So here we see a whole wall of painting. Uh, and even within that wall of painting, we see a small section where all of the works are figurative. Then we see a section where the works are abstract paintings. And at the very end, we have a self-portrait. On, on this wall, we have a whole series of photographs of people. And these represent the types of works that these particular artists generally make. Sunil Gupta is a photographer, and in his work, we see an interracial couple in a very kind of intimate pose. The gaze is introspective, and all of us have had no other choice but to look at our own lives in a new way over this period, and that is shown through all of the work. Jason Carr's Freedom in the Falling is in the original is a painting, as we can see, uh, and it depicts Danny St. James, who is the founder of notaphase.org, which supports trans youth. Sadie Lee's Concealer is a self-portrait, but it's also a portrait that she made with her young son. Sadie had not painted for about a year during the lockdown, and when she wanted to make something for this exhibition, she realized she'd also not worn makeup for over a year. So she asked her son if he would like to participate and make up her face. And av after he did her makeup in a very professional way, uh, she did a portrait of herself uh, as an oil painting, uh, which we see here. Scott Baxter's Aloysius Revisited is another reminder of the last year in terms of COVID. We see a delivery box, which is completely covered in gold glitter, which of course, as many of you will know, you will have received a package and you can't wait to open it up and see what wonderful things inside. But at the same time, it does speak about the class system in that deliveries are very much about the middle classes being served by the working class who could not afford not to go to work. The final group of artists represented are a few who are working with art historical references. These artists are showing how we queer people have been in art history, not necessarily always openly seen, but how we have experienced and put forward ourselves, our visions throughout the years. Louise Leonard's Untitled and Unseen references Angra's The Turkish Bath, where in the original, there is a very exotic view of naked women, mainly wearing turbans, but they're naked and they're in a bath, where she depicts the everyday woman. So there's a very direct connection between her and Angra's imagery. In Hamish Moreau's work, Untitled, he's making a comment about the fact that how do we look at those works now with modern eyes and how did people see such erotic work in that period?